Uh, this is not the best news that I've heard, though. Banning bump stocks. I'm, I'm not a fan of bump stocks in and of themselves. I really don't care one way or the other about, <laughs> about certain features of certain firearms. I do care about government telling us that we're not allowed to own them or else threatening, uh, threatening us as crooks. You have to literally turn this into the government. It's creepy. Right. So you should care about confiscation of things that were legally purchased before the government changed its mind. You should care about rulings that are factually inaccurate in their findings. What they said is that it, one of the statements from the DOJ said that it turns a semi-automatic into a machine gun. It doesn't. And it says that it, you're able to put multiple shots down range with a single trigger pull, which would make it a machine gun. It doesn't. Like you said, what it does is it's an add-on to a semi-automatic rifle. Uh, usually the modern sporting rifle, more colloquially, than it, colloquially known as an AR-15. What it does is it allows the gun to slide back and forth against your finger, all right? And so as the, the recoil from the gun goes back, it bounces back, it hits the, uh, the trigger, and it does this rapid times in succession, right? You're still only, it's still operating as a semi-automatic weapon in that situation. You've got one trigger pull per round. It, it's just designed to do this thing that's known as bump firing, which is as old as semi-automatic weapons has, has been around. You can, you can bump fire with your belt loop, you can bump fire with a stick, you can bump fire with just holding it uh, a certain way against your shoulder, making it go back and forth against your shoulder instead of a specially designed stock. You're right, there is a slippery slope here because once people, once they get and realize that, oh, bump firing, uh, well, bump firing doesn't require a special stock, they can still quote unquote, turn it into a machine gun, then you're gonna see the anti-gun folks on Capitol Hill and elsewhere start looking harder at semi-automatic weapons. You kind of saw a little bit of that this year, a lot of that, uh, a lot of the targeting of semi-automatics after Parkland. You can expect once this ripens and after it all goes through and once people, uh, once the frog in the pockets used to the heat being turned up, that semi-automatics are gonna be the next thing they focus on. Wanna see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.